Hello, welcome back to Space Engineers. In today's video, I'm once again taking a look at one of your designs that you recommended me on Mod.io. And if you have something you want me to show on this channel, just drop me a message on there. There'll be a link to it in the description below if you do want to do that. But for today, we're looking at another large block ship that's well armed and could work very well on the water mod. But this is the SS Junku Queen, which is this giant thing that I'm currently standing on. So this is a primarily hydrogen powered ship with a few iron thrusters here and there. We've got some fancy use of the exhaust block to shoot out a bit of fire from our conveyor pipes. And we've got lots of doors along the side here, which are not for entering the ship, but rather you open it up and on the inside are artillery guns to broadside your enemies. Yes, we just come around to here, press F10, have a look through the spawn menu, have a quick look around the outside, have a quick tour of the interior. Hopefully I won't get lost in this because it is a very big and almost maze-like with design. And then I think we'll blow it up with a nuclear warhead to see how this ship fares at that. So pressing F10 and finding it in the spawn menu, the Junker Queen is apparently 11,881 large blocks, but it does use pretty much all the DLC packs. We've got no other information about it, so what I'll do is give it a thumbs up, double click this, and then we'll see its actual size, which is only 5,977, which is, well, roughly half of what it stated. But yes, we can now come around towards the very front, have a good look around the outside, and then we'll go from there. So putting my light on for the moment, this is all we can see at the very front, which is a bunch of lovely grey steel blocks. It was a ton of light off, then move around onto the side. This is what we saw just a second ago. We've got our doorways, where behind it is our artillery guns. We've got some great use for letter blocks, spelling out the SS Junker Queen. Then we're on the bottom here, a bunch of hydrogen thrusters. Then we've got a conveyor pipes with our exhaust block, shooting out a bit of fire. But yes, moving across, we've got a couple of turrets to blast your enemies with. If you want to have a bit of automated firepower, there's one or three entrances to the ship, but we connect it right below it. Around over to this section, this is our iron thruster pod. We've got a larger iron thruster, forwards and backwards, to help out with our speed. Moving around onto the side, there's a couple small iron thrusters for our left and right. Then over to this section, around towards the back, we see how it's been connected up. If we were to move up over to this section, this is our little living quarter type area. We've got a bunch of seats and tables around the room where one of these rooms on the opposite side will feature your kitchen bay to actually prepare your food, then serve it to all your people sitting in this chair. It's very much like a cafeteria with how it's all been set up. We'll get a better look at that on the inside. Yes, just moving down, coming around towards the very back. This is what's going to push us around. So we've got four large iron thrusters, three large hydrogen, then a bunch of small hydrogen, which will give us a nice load of speed. Right in the middle here is our secondary doorway to go inside, with the third being on the right hand side. Yes, we'll start with this doorway when we go around on foot, just work our way towards the front. Moving up just a little bit, that is a small landing pad for a very small fighter or mining ship to come dock up to, then head in through that doorway, which I suppose makes four ways to get into the ship. I did forget about this door, despite actually walking out of it a few minutes ago. Anyway, looking all the way down to it, that's all we can see. Moving along towards the middle of the ship, we can see our turrets on the outside. We see our turret right in the middle. There's some hydrogen thrusters to move us down right next to where I'm standing. There's some more hydrogen thrusters, another turret, and at the very front, that is all we can see. Moving down underneath this thing, keeping my light on for the moment, there's one hell of a lot of hydrogen thrusters. We see the lovely glow of our exhaust block shooting out of the fire. Makes a very nice effect in the dark. Yes, put my light on for the moment once again. There's a the connector and doorway on the opposite side. There's some more hydrogen thrusters. And there's the very back of this ship. And there we go. That's a brief look around the outside of the SS Junker Queen. Does look great with how it's up. I really love this part. It's actually the first time I've seen this on a ship with a setup like this, where the pipes come along to an exhaust block, we've got multiple of them. It does look very nice. But yes, now what I can do is just grab hold of my character, come around towards the back of the ship, and head on inside. So all the way around, down to here, and just past our beacon, landing onto the catwalk, and now we're ready to go inside. Opening up this doorway, we've got a double door for an airlock, with our full block event in the floor there. I don't know why I closed the door behind me, because this does have the auto door and airlock script on this. And now we just walk through here, open this up, and now we're greeted by a bunch of timer blocks. All these timer blocks are set up for our guns on the side, which we'll see a bit later on. But for the rest of the room, got a program block on one side, program block on the other. That one has the auto door and airlock script. This one over here, if we were to open it up, has got the automatic LCD screen script, which we'll see a bit later on. As for the doorways, both of these will lead to the same area, so I think we'll stick to the left-hand side. First of all, all the way around to here, another full block heaven in the floor. Looking along here, we've got a lovely corridor, comes all the way along to a sliding door. We just move all the way along once again, another heaven in the floor. Around to here, another sliding door, and now we're actually getting to the bulk of the ship. 
So in here, here is our master junction, where the doorway is around this corner, then it leads to the door on the very side of the ship, with a connector right below it. There's our flaming pipes, there's our guns, there's our broadsides. Then we can just come back into here, open up this doorway, and now come back into this room. Just looking up in the air vent, we've got a warning sign up there. There's our pipe that connects everything up. There's the doorways for the opposite side. But now we've got a doorway from the back. Well, I suppose we'll come through this doorway. Hopefully it's the correct one. Now we can walk into this. I think that was the wrong one. Yes, we'll come into this one first of all. So this will lead above our engineering bay. Where on the left and right hand side, you might be able to make out a bunch of windows, which are for our living quarters for all your crew to sit in. But looking down there, we will go around that on foot. That's where a gravity generator is sitting. All of our tanks, our assemblies, our refineries. And all of that. Now just open up this doorway. This is our first area that will eventually lead to our living quarters. We've got some lockers. There's an air vent. We can open this up. And here's going to be the start of many living quarters. Set up exactly like this. So on the left hand side we've got a bed. We've got a table. In the middle we've got an air vent. On the opposite side there's our locker. There's a window. Peer down the glow. Coming from our hydrogen thrusters. Open up this just walking through. Exact same setup. Exact same setup. You guess it. Exact same setup. Into here. Exact same setup. And into this, this is the end of the room, but it's going to be very much like the one we started with. Walking through here, opening this up, we're now on the opposite side where we can see a large container. Now we can just come into this section, open this up, and this is a very toasty room filled with a bunch of iron thrusters, hydrogen thrusters, and well, not too much else. Yes, it's just a nice way of hiding the thrusters, and makes it very easy to repair up if it ever took damage in combat. Turning off my light once again, we now walk through on the opposite side. So opening up this, here's our locker room, and now we've got to come through all of our living quarters for our beds, lockers, and our windowed pier inside at our engineering bay. And here we are at the very end. Opening up this, coming around, opening up this doorway, and now back into this room with our junction, we now come into here, and now we've got a few more ways to go. On the left and right hand side, this is going to lead us down into the ship, which will eventually come back to our engineering bay on the lower floor. So all around opening up this, we can then come through this door, which leads us to the opposite side and lead back up. Now coming to here, opening up this, this will be our jump drive room with a bunch of hydrogen engines. We can just come down here, fit all the settings if we need to. And just put my light on, there's a bunch stacked onto each other. Walking around here, there's an air vent looking up and around. There we go, just activating this, having a jump drive, we only got one, where we can jump 174 kilometers. Walking up these steps, hiding the HUD once again, opening up this, Coming to here, opening up this, we then come to all of our gyroscopes, and I do love the green glow they give off in the dark. Now just walk through here, we can see our batteries lining the room as well. There's another air vent. And yes, there's one hell of a lot of gyroscopes, even in the back that you might be able to make it out in the distance. Even more gyroscopes hidden away. Opening this up, this is our engineering bay, but we were standing right above me just a second ago. There's our gravity generator, there's our assembler, there's our auction tanks. Walking around the room, we've got a load of pipes for our conveyor caps sitting on the junctions. Just walking around here, there's our hydrogen engines or O2HU generators even. There's our large refinery. There's some large hydrogen tanks. And at the very back will be our cargo container that we saw from the very back of the ship, which is where we're going to go once again. So opening up this, into here, guess what? Another ion thruster room. Where yes, not too much else is going on in here, apart from a bunch of thrusters. Walking out of this and coming along to the opposite side, the exactly the same as what we just saw. There's our hydrogen tanks, there's a bunch of modules, and there is our auction tanks at the very front. Opening up this, walking through past our gyroscopes once again, up to here. We now come back up to where we just were, all the way around, through here, and now I believe we've got to come through this section. Opening up this, up these steps, all the way around, from the same on the opposite side. We now come up to this section, which is what we saw just a second ago when we went around the outside, which sort of had the cafeteria set up. But in this, we've got a bunch of seats sitting around with a planter in the middle. There's our inset light blocks. Looking around there, there's our air vent. And we just open up this. And this is exactly what we saw on the outside. So a bunch of tables to eat your food, discuss your plans. Now walk through here. In the other room with a bunch of tables. Coming through here, we now come around to the back of the room. We've got some planters. There's some freight crates and a doy that will come in just a second. Now we just come to the opposite side. Some more tables. Finally, we'll actually have our kitchen preparation area. We've got our little desk blocks. There's our kitchen table, there's our little sink and all of that, and that's where you're going to serve your food. Now what we do is back to where we just were, through this section, round to here, open up this, this will lead us to the back of the ship, so we've got a double door for an airlock. And this is where I said we can land a small fighter, small miner, then head on through the ship. 
Yes, we now just walk around here, do maintenance work if we need to, all the way around to the front of the ship, and we get up to the turrets, to our thrusters, and repair it up if we need to. Yes, jetpacking all the way back around, opening up this doorway once again, opening up the other doorway, we now come through this one, where we'll come up to our steps, and we'll finally get to our bridge to drive this thing around. So looking around the room, we've got a bunch of LCD screens telling us everything about the ship. There's a projected table projecting the entire ship, which is why the block count is so inflated on the workshop page. In the round room, we've got some lockers and a few more doorways. But first of all, the LCD screens, we can see everything inside the ship. We can see our target locked, our component summaries. Over to this one, we then see our little horizon thingamabob. We can see the day, date and time, our location, gravity and the ship's mass, damage reports and dock ships. Over here, we see our speed, acceleration, our power, auction, fuel, jump drives and cargo used. Then onto the opposite side, and we've got our ammo summary, our tool summary and everything that's stored inside our containers. Turn around, we've got two doorways on both sides where we can open this up, come to our lovely, very fancy living quarters. We've got beds, we've got planters, we've got seat, LCD screen, table, freight crates, then a locker on the opposite side. We've then got a doorway that will open up to our shower and toilet setup. And then just come around to the opposite side so you can see that. Round here, opening up this one, stepping inside, it's the exact same setup. So two people can get a very fancy room, then everyone else will have to go to the mass produce rooms down below near the engineering bay. But now what we can do is finally get into one of these seats. So let's go into the one on the side. Bring up the HUD. We've got no controls with this. So you could always set them up with turrets if you wanted to. So I suppose what we'll do is get into the main seat. And these are the controls we get. But first of all, in first person view, this is the view we get all the way around us. Let's just hide that for the moment. So it's a very, very compromised view. So you might want to have a few cameras here and there. But yes, number one, number two. Now this is going to be very fancy where well, I will get the free camera over here. So we get a better view of what's going on. Where this is our broadside controls. We're pressing both of these. The doorways will open up, then after a short delay, they'll then fire on a pattern of a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then 6, which will deal a nice lot of damage and does look absolutely spectacular to watch. If you were to do that again from a distance, here we go, we now press both of these, after a short delay, the doors open. Look at that. They just fire on the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 pattern on both sides. It looks absolutely glorious. Yes, coming back into third person view, tab number two, we then got some controls for our pistons, where we can activate these by pressing number two and number six, and bring the free camera back over. We can then see our connectors on the side there, just extending all the way out, make it easier to dock up to a station, because of that weird pod at the back there. That'll make it very difficult to dock up to a flush station, so this fixes that, and it's a nice simple solution. But yes, number one and number five is to retract it all the way back, number three and number seven is to lock and unlock them, and over to tab number three, we've got nothing else, so it's time to fly this thing around. So moving forwards, as you expect from a large hulking ship, we are very slow. And I just know the sheer weight of this ship. Look at that on the bottom right hand corner. That's a big number. But yes, come to a stop. We are slightly slower, but it's to be expected from this type of ship. And I will have to use the admin menu to actually stop it in place. Otherwise, it's going to take an eternity to actually come to a stop. Moving left and moving right. We are very slow with that. Moving down and then moving up. Moving up feels slightly faster than moving down but it's still all very slow compared to moving forwards. As for gyroscope controls, get a load of this. This is me turning it around as fast as I can. It certainly suits the size ship, certainly suits the ship of this sheer weight. And well, yes, it is still fine at the end of the day because we have turrets all the way around this. We might make broadsiding something quite hard, unless you're going to do it as a drive-by and just zoom past them and hope the shots hit them. As for that, that is pretty much it for the SS Junker Queen. It looks great for how it's all been set up. Absolutely love the flames at the bottom. But now what I'm going to do is come to a stop because it's time to blow this up with a thermal nuclear warhead and that'll be that for this video. And here we go to finish off this video. What I've done is place a thermal nuclear warhead in the engineering bay and any second now it's gonna explode. So brace yourselves because it's going to be very loud and I do have to turn this down quite a lot because it's a very loud mod. But there it goes, my god that was a huge explosion and wow. I've never actually exploded this in space but that is absolutely fantastic to look at. It just becomes a giant fireball, look at that. That's absolutely incredible. Let me just spin all the way around this. I didn't actually think it would change. I thought it would still do the mushroom cloud, cloud like it does on the planet. There is absolutely nothing remaining of that ship, which is well to be expected. And where's my character? He's now been ejected out at 62 meters per second. But I think that is that for this video. Yes, it is a lovely ship to use in your world. There'll be a link to it in the description below if you wish to download and play around with yourself. I highly recommend you do. There'll also be links to the Skybox I'm currently using. I'll be back with another video. Someone soon. Bye bye.